Greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Mancillon. I just wanted to wish you a good day. I'm here to, to continue to speak about transcendental psychology, this inner process of ascension. I'm, I'm talking about many subjects here that are maybe sensitive, that um, well, I'm just expressing my wisdom, for it is important. Wisdom is very precious to the wise, but absolutely no, it means nothing to the fool. But yet, so you just, um, just want to and so we encourage you also to inspire the, the desire in other people to seek out other higher perspective to elevate their thought, their mind, their heart, open their heart and elevate their thoughts. For I, I wanted to thank you also. I see this channel um, is 10,000 subscribers. Now the next goal is 144,000 for it is a very powerful and uh, we are already pretty much there huh, on the on, on the energetic grid. So continue to cultivate this sphere of light around yourself, around your community, around your country, around your planet, around around the the, the solar system, around the, the the star clouds of Nebadon, around the galaxy, around the whole universe. Even for, for one, uh, eventually, our consciousness will become universal. Will be one with the one that is all. Uh, but for now, just continue to cultivate your your, sen your own sense of well-being, your own direction. For this ascension process, is is an opportunity right now. For those who do not choose it, will have plenty of other opportunity. For life is eternal, and every soul has already made their choice. So you have to respect the choice of others to um, to make their own mistake to to make another choice to 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 trust that their soul is really um, leading them to to whatever they need in order to 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 grow and to 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 to, to find what they're looking for what we seek in the ascension process is to open our third eye to see all the many levels of light to to see into the other realm or the dimension for the, eventually you have to let go of fluor right it's very important to let go of that the buddha has defined the the, the, the many aspects of life or when we open our what we call the pineal gland, the third eye is actually opening up to, to many eyes, to see through many eyes. There is the eye of flesh, there is the eye of the, of the universal law, there is the eye of the body, the, the eye of the mind, the eye of the spirit, the eye of the Buddha. Uh, there is all kinds of eyes, and also to become clear audience, to listen to, to, to hear the wisdom that is imparted from the higher dimension for everybody. God speaks to everybody every day, which is not trusting enough for a lot of people, are not trusting enough to follow that intuition, that guidance, which will come from, from the heart. For uh, for we, everything we're doing, we're doing it with much assistance from the higher planes, uh, for, to, to work with all we achieve, it's not a singular, it's not like all, uh, we cannot take the whole credit for all that is going on in the ascension process. We're getting much help from galactics, from all our galactic brothers and sisters, but also from, from ascended masters, from, from archangels, archangels, and all the, the, the many celestial beings. For everything is moving very quickly. Um, um, and, and what we see is not the truth. What we see the, when the earth is, is not the truth is our perception of it. As we change our perception and we grow and evolve and change internally, the whole perception of that reality evolve, grow and change. So, so it's it's never about what uh, what we see. People see who they are as the mirror reflection, but they do not see who we are. We see uh, it's all about individualized uh, evolution of our own consciousness. But a lot of the answers will come and all the, the, the dark shows will soon end and do not let the, 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 all the, the madness of the, of the, of the puppets of the, the shadow government uh, dictate what, you, what is your past and just uh, say no to whatever is not for your highest good. And so... Um, for very soon, we're going to integrate new concepts. Every day we're integrating. There is a big momentum that is going on. We're integrating new, higher concept, higher level, higher perception of, of the truth. And we need to, to understand what is the law. Uh, many well-intended beings are opposing the light in their words. They don't realize it. And also sometimes they plant little, little seeds of lie in the medias or even in the alternative medias. And people accept it as reality and they, they broadcast it. So discernment, discernment, more discernment is, is required just as the, the keys to, to that's about the outer world when it comes to the inner world it's sincerity more sincerity and even more sincerity those are the keys to ascension uh, so just be careful in your communication what you communicate sometimes it was aristotle that says uh, the, the the wise speaks because he has something wise to say but the fool speaks just because he needs to say something so we just don't speak just to speak just uh, the, the fifth chakra and uh, and 
and do not worry if if you if you hear uh, spiritual information that is utterly beyond your understanding it will all be repeated it will all come uh, and sometimes i hear messages from the archangel michael tr training sessions that, that are completely beyond my ability to, to put in practice right now it is but but i know I will, it will come when it's the right time also when to talk about prayer it's very important to pray, to turn to the source for what we need, for the source has it all and is all powerful. So, but but when we pray in gra for, with gratitude for what we've been, what we're asking for, it is far more intelligent because we we are already in a receptive state and knowledge that we're going to receive it. When, when we do supplication prayer, we, we it's like we we push. It's like we believe that we cannot receive what we are. We're not in a state of mind to receive what we're asking for. So so it's, it's about tuning into the frequency of of that which we're asking for. And so, also wanted to to uh, to, to bring uh, to be kind and gentle. Anything that's not that's not kind, that's not the, the light will never operate through violence and brutality. And they, they, sometimes there is necessity for 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 for, for, for um, self defense or whatever. But uh, but other than that, uh, uh, do, do not fuel anything that's part of the brutal violence or anything that doesn't come from God or spirit or love. It's like um, everything will be expurged. That is not love. Huh? Everything. So just trust that. I wanted to bring also a little, um, little um, quotation. Uh, just for fun. It's like one of them is from Seneca, philosopher. He was, uh, he was around was about 2,000 years ago, and he says sometimes just uh, the act of living is an act of courage. Uh, so for life is difficult on this third dimension. Another quotation would be from Friedrich Nietzsche. He says, um, the, um, there is no one more inferior than one who insists to be equal. <laughs> for, for we are all unique and different, but we need the, the inferiority needs to be equal when somebody who's in the acceptation of who they are, they, 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 find, they, they find comfort within the place that God has placed them at that time. Well, there is no superior, no inferior, but there is no equal. We are all unique and different. So... And also Samsu, that uh, the, the great philosopher, that's very uh, sixth century BC, but he wrote a book named *The Art of War*, a very powerful, uh, intelligent book about the strategy. And he says to to know yourself and know your enemy is good, but it will, it, there is still doubts as the outcome of of whatever uh, um, enfoldment. But but if you know heaven and earth, then then it is guaranteed. Your success is guaranteed because you're flowing with the flow of heaven and earth. Just some sorts um, when um, and so um, for take everything that's communicated in the media with a lot of discernment of following it from afar. For it is interesting to follow the unfoldment and, and, and also simplify your need as much as possible. For if you have a little need when the itching, it's, it says. Uh, Things are easy for a modest person. If if you if you have a lot of needs, then uh, it. it uh, Things that are very difficult because you have so many needs, but the needs are changing. Simplify your need. If you need very little, then life becomes easier. And also, there, there are a lot of people asking to make the big food reserve. And for it is always good to have a reserve, mostly with the inflation that is going on. If you have it, it's like you will pay less now that you might pay later if the inflation keeps going up. But be careful that it doesn't come from a fear of lack. If you just do it as, as a sense of well-being and security to have that, but not with the fear of lack. For it is all there's so many traps that the, the dark state, the, the, the shadow matrix has, has planned. So just uh, always see that what you do come from love and not from fear, from separation, from lack, from, from, from um, for, for most of the danger comes from undisciplined mind, from, from an uncharted thought that, that are going in, into places that we don't need it to go to. So... Uh, and know that I love you, that know that God loves you, that the whole company of heaven loves you. It always has been, always will be, and there is always this love that's always been there, awaiting to be discovered and, and cultivated. For uh, and and when there is a negative emotion, it's like instead of tr being afraid of it, just uh, it's about accepting it, accepting to be uncomfortable, comfortable within the uncomfort, and then it becomes transmuted, and you will never show up again. Everything is being expurged. For. But if if we fight against the darkness, it will the, the it will it will continue to 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 come there to, to to have a reason to be. So it's about stopping the pendulum of duality in order to to find that peace of mind that that open up to the the higher plane. 
And accepting the position of your higher self when you receive a, a source from your intuition, it's like accepting that position, for it is temporary, but it is the position of your soul. So it's, uh, it's about being, uh, even if, it, uh, if you're misunderstood or you're not, uh, you're not accepted, uh, at least you, you, you are true to yourself, to be true to ourselves, to sign on self, be true, as Shakespeare used to say. Uh, if you're true to yourself, you, you cannot be untrue to anybody else, for there is only, uh, when this truth is you align with your truth, it, it does not confront, it does not oppose anything, it only oppose what is untrue, but all that is true is aligned within this one truth. Well, I hope this message was interesting for you. I thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. I thank you for your donations, really assisting me right now. Very soon, I won't need it. I'm going to close all those. Uh, those I won't need it. So, so it's like, but right now, it's really assisting me. If you want a private session, you can send me an email. I'm going to finish as usual with a song. It's a, it's an old song that talks about the the enjoyment of of to be able to enjoy all this world that God has created, not to allow our mind to be distracted. It's an old song that some, was made famous by Louis Armstrong. That was it was a new version by the Ramones. That was quite interesting, more rock and roll. It's called A Wonderful World. I see trees of green, red roses too, I see them blue for me and you, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see skies of blue and clouds of white, bright blessed days, dark sacred nights, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see babies cry, I watch them grow, they'll learn much more than I'll never know. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Yes, I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Oh, I forgot a few lines. I just realized that I forgot. I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? They're really saying, I love you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. For it is a wonderful world. We have to make it beautiful. It is the power of our collective energy. So... Once the 444 will be fully activated, it will overtake the whole program. So we're working towards that. But it is already happening. There is so much momentum within the light. Do not let yourself be distracted by anything that, that takes your joy, your peace of mind, and, and, and continue to cultivate this sense of joy and abundance in relationship to your soul, your spirit, your, your creator. I thank you very much. Wish you a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Salat.